Hello, this is an informal video covering the new features for Course Builder version 1.51. We're not going to cover any new features that's not already covered in the release notes. There's a new analytics uh, visualization uh, in the analytics dashboard. So we can see this new, under the analytics tab, we can see this new student progress statistics. For example, what we have here is two, two students have engaged with the pre-course assessment and since the bar is in blue, uh, both of them have completed it. For unit one, we see two students have engaged with unit one, one who is in progress in red and the other who has finished. You also have more details uh, about both um, the interactions of the students with this, the activities as well as the assessments. For example, if a student has not engaged with the activity, um, a particular question at all, we see no attempts recorded. You also have to, to um, get this data. You actually have to turn on the appropriate settings and admin settings as well. Um, but for example, under average score, we see for this particular question and this activity, um, the average score is 1 means 100% or 1.0. And this one, the average score is uh, 0.75 or 75 percent and we see there were four attempts on this particular question. You can now allow your students to uh, upload text files and you, uh, uh, in, you turn that capability on by uh, embedding a component specifically and you will embed the comp component like you do all the other components so we go to rich text hit the red toolbox and we see a new component type student text file upload and the max upload size is one megabyte for short for short answers you can now control the answer field um, size by specifying specifically the number of rows and the number of columns. There's also a new search feature uh, and this search uh, feature searches over the entire course. If you have uh, multiple courses on the same instance it will not the search will not go across courses but it will be particular to that course. There's a new uh, search tab in the dashboard. So this is what um, the, the search uh, feature, you have to index the search uh, your course before you can, you can use the search feature. And when you first come across your fresh uh, new course, you'll see that um, this is what it looks like. And the, the first time the index or re-index doesn't matter, but after you've successfully indexed your course, you, you, get, you have the option of either incrementally indexing your course or re-index it uh, completely from scratch. And you can also clear the index. And again, this is what it looks like after it's successfully indexed. And here's the search results page. Also for this release, the, the average, average pa page load time, um, the speed has increased. So on average, it's roughly 40% uh, faster. So the page loads are roughly 40% faster. And this uh, is due to a contribution from the community, uh, specifically Thomas Grenfell Smith. That's it for new features for Course Builder 1.51. Thank you.